to school. Yes, of course you do. Right, hurry up now. I don't want to be stuck in any traffic this morning. Right, we are, sir. Hey, have you seen this? Cleaning her own shoes and she volunteered. Oh, cool. I know. She seems so much more grown up now. She's at the big school. I'll get it. Oh, I'll be sad. Come on. It was scary at first, but now they've gotten used to me. Joke. I like it. Come on. Hiya. Right, come on, let's skedaddle, cos I've got to take you's, then I've got to go to the gym and then I've got a list of jobs as long as me arm. Uh, actually, could we maybe start getting the bus again? I don't get picked on anymore, and I could talk to my new friends about our homework assignment. What, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I suppose things have settled down a bit now. OK, I don't mind. So long as you text me when you're there. Yes. Cars, Dad. Right, I'll get straight to the gym, then. All see right, you later. See you later. Come on, Rubes, let's go. Come on. See you later, be good. Go, go, go. What's that about? I need him gone so I can get some things for this afternoon. I'm doing another book signing. All right, Michael, my Pergo. What stuff? It's something special. Keep an eye on the door in case anyone comes back. I'm gonna be late. Carla's got a pile of filing for me to do before she gets back from a meeting in Leicester. And what time should you do him? Oh, after lunch. But she finds out I've been skiving, she's gonna kill me. Hey, you're not gonna be late. Yeah, you just need to get a move on. I wish my head was stuck in a book again. <sighs> you don't. This is getting on my nerves. I feel like throwing it all out the window. But you are super smart and you love it, really. I miss it. Well, just reapply for next year. They'd snap you up. Oh, she's right. You're dead clever. Yeah, yeah. I should get dressed properly. Sick again. Again? How long have you been feeling this bad? Uh, not that long. God, you look awful. You can't go in like this. Well, I have to. You just have to lie down for a bit. Look, um, I'm leaving now. Should I make a start on the way the Carla's left you? Would you mind? That would be amazing. Thanks, mate. Look, Jacob, I know you're just trying to help, but you don't want to get in any trouble. I won't. You just get in when you can, yeah? Love you. Our beeswax. I'm going to miss the bus. I want to make people sit up and take notice. Be cautious and be bold. Who said that? P.T. Barnum, the great American showman. My inspiration. People travelled miles to see his shows. Why? Because he knew how to put bums on seats. I intend to do the same. Has this got something to do with those year 11 girls you were hanging out with? You still jealous? I'm not sure about your real friends. Of course they're my real friends. You saying they're pretending to be my friends. If they're not my real friends, I'll kill them. Oh, we need to hurry up and miss the bus. All set. Max, you need to take that dodgy video down. I don't know what you're talking about. The one you took at the meeting. Oh, that. Yeah. If people watch it, they'll think that everyone there was agreeing with what that vile racist was saying. Well, I do agree with everything Griff says. And he's not a racist. He's got his right to freedom of speech. But that speech was edited. And it was really unpleasant to me. Why are you hanging around with these idiots, Max? OK, why don't you just jog on and mind your own business? OK? Anyway. Silly cow started slagging us off. You kidding? Who does she think she is? She's so woke, they all are. Yeah, well, where does she get it from? Thought you said she was working class. She is. Her dad would have been on our side. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. There's a story going about that Maria Connor's planning to turn the community centre on Victoria Street <laughs> into a place for refugees. No way. They're taking the mick. Community centre for the community, not for refugees. Typical. The council chucking taxpayers' money down the drain on schemes for people who shouldn't even be here. But you're born here, you try getting a council house. Mm. Hmm? Anyway, I better be going. What? Why? It's all hands on deck. We need to let them see exactly what the community thinks about this. You lads up for it. Yeah, but not today. I'm working later. Yeah, me. You're in, aren't you? Of course I am. Yeah. What you got in mind? 
glad I sent uh, Jacob on that cake run. Do you know, he was mithering me about filing. I don't know what's about filing. What is he doing? Where's Summer? I think we should just stay out of it. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> People smile, but don't really know what they're thinking, do you? I swear Beth's been funny with me today. Beth's supportive, I'm sure she is. Everyone here is. You know Carl has banned everyone from reading it. Yeah, I know, but Kirk's got a copy. It's just bound to make people think differently about me and Hope. No, they'll think badly of John State. Everyone who knows you. Well, you're a lovely person. You're honest and decent. It's hard, but you just gotta blot it out of your mind. And I promise you, whatever lowbrow publication it ends up in won't be on my Kindle. Mm. I'm sure Beth's read it. Beth hasn't read it. Look, thanks, girls. I really appreciate your support. I'm just going to go on my break. Of course I'm ready. And I bet you two are gagging to read it at all. Oh, I promised my friend I wouldn't read it. Some chapters aren't even published in the paper. You'll get suspended for having that. It's not up to her what I read. Anyway, she's not even here. She won't be back for ages. Put it away, Beth. Some of it is dead gory, but there's a real racy bit in it about state shenanigans with a certain ditzy schoolgirl. Give it to you. <gasps> Look, don't let what Max said get you down. Yeah. Mm. You're right to have a word. Yeah. Just thinking about the community centre, though. Well, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I know, but just because a couple of people at the council like it, it doesn't mean that I've got the green light, does it? I need to keep on at people. Bug them if I have to. Mm, you'll make it work. <sighs> look, why don't we go and look at the centre later on? See what you can do with the space. Yeah, sounds good. I need to set up a call with Muneer and all. He said that he'd help. This has got to be really good. I need to show Griff and all the naysayers exactly what this community stands for. Morning! How many covers have we got for lunch? Four. Oh, I was hoping we'd be busier. I've got a potential buyer coming to have a look round. Brilliant. Well, I did give you guys first refusal, but if you can't raise the funds, I can't wait forever. Yeah, I know, we know the score. So, are you any closer to finding the money? Nothing concrete, now. Well, like I said, you can always sell your share. And like I said, that's not an option for us. Look, I've got to get people in to see it, see if there's any interest. Yeah, of course you have. Have you spoken to your friend? Oh, she was as delightful as ever. Will she help? Well, she's in high demand. You know, the critics love everything she does. Oh, they raved about her Cleopatra. One of my favourite tragedies. Yeah, Anthony, so self-destructive. Let Rome and Tiber melt. Uh, and Caesar's withering put down. The triple pillar of the world transformed into a strumpet's fool. Give me my robe. Put on my crown. I have immortal longing. So she's too busy. She said she'll come along to rehearsals later and give Mary a hand. That's excellent news. You'll let Mary know beforehand. I mean, this needs handling with great delicacy. You do it, you're a friend. You're her director. You're her fellow performer. She'll take it better from you. Hey. Hey, you, uh, you feeling a bit better? Yeah, thanks. How are you getting on? Yeah, I did some filing. You know, I took a couple of calls. So... Oh. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. She's back early. Hiya. Hey, thanks for holding the fort. Oh, you're welcome. Right, I need the handle on file, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. One sec. Look, Liza, I need to call him. No, 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 it's in this one. Here. Should be here. Yeah, sorry, uh, maybe try that file instead. Why is Jacob missing with our filing system? He sails, not admin. Well, uh, I wasn't feeling too great and, and he offered to cover for me. I decide what's in your job description, don't I? Sorry. We're both on a morning. Oh, I was just trying to help. What's all this? 
Well, it will be. A new desk for Hope. All right, you didn't say you'd ordered one. No, no. Got it off Big Guy. Yeah, he had a job lot of him. But, you know, now she's at big school and she was on about doing her homework before. This might just show her that we don't just see her as a little girl anymore. Oh, Ty, that's a lovely thing to do. Yeah, although now it's here, I'm getting a bit of FPA. Flat pack anxiety. See, people think I'd be good at all this kind of stuff, but you know I'm rubbish. Right, remember, this came up in couples therapy, didn't it? You need to take it all out the box, lay it all out on the floor and read the instructions in one go. Yeah. And then I'll find out, like, there's a cross strut missing or something. Oh, we'll give it him back then. Oh, why don't you get someone else to do it for you? No, no, I'll conquer this. Very good. When are you going to do it? Well, now. Then it'll be ready for when she gets back, fingers crossed. Mm. I am so glad she's settling into school so well. This mm. went yesterday. Oh, that's well nice. Where'd you get it from? I'm doing another reading letter. Five quid a seat. Five quid? For a new extract of Stip, like Sea of Evil, focused on the grisly events of December the 9th, there were loads of shocking revelations that are only in this book. It's a one-off. You don't want to miss it. Put it this way. You pay for the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge. Thanks for coming. I have been reading the most wonderful book. It says that when you step upon the stage, you become enclosed in a circle of light. That's if the lights are working. I was once watching a production one night and uh, the stage manager blew the fuses. Oh. <laughs> well, if I am to become the part, then uh, I won't give a fig. Well, you say that, but on the same night, uh, an HGV reversed into the dressing rooms. Well, I'm prepared for anything. I've been in rehearsals long enough that nothing would faze me. Oh, but Lady Winterden is a very challenging role. <laughs> uh, are you saying that you think I'm not up to it? No, I'm a huge fan. You know I am. But not everyone agrees with Stanislavski. Brecht believes that you have to break down the fourth wall to engage the audience. Oh, don't make me question everything now. Well, you should believe in yourself, yes. But that doesn't mean to say you've got nothing to learn. I mean, you're on a journey. What are you up to? Nothing to what? I'll be the judge of that. Nigel has persuaded an eminent actor and close personal friend to... Uh, and watch you in rehearsals. She might be able to give you a few pointers. And who is she? Dame Helen, Dame Judy. Maggie would not stab a fellow artist in the back. I never realised you had such an ego. Well, that's what talentless people say to gifted people before they shaft them. Do come through. Now, as you can see, it's a fabulous space and we're always very busy, thanks to our hard-working team. First impressions. I love it. How many covers, Max? 48, and on a weekend, we are full to the brim. Mind if I go look round? Oh, no. Uh, help yourself. I'll just go and get the floor plans. Great. Uh, can I have a look at the management accounts as well? Yes, of course you can. I'll leave you with our Leanne. And, uh, I'll take all that with a pinch of salt if I were you. So it's not full to the brim? <sighs> the only thing that's cooking here is the books. Some nights, only the rats get a good meal. There's vermin? Mm. And even they give it a bad review. You see, the thing is, Debbie, she took her eye off the ball ages ago. The only thing she's got her eye on now, fuck a ball. Well, thank you for your honesty. No problem. Okie dokie. Take a seat and uh, have a little shufty, and I'll sort us out with some drinks. <laughs> You said you wouldn't read it. Well, that was before Beth told me there was stuff about Rosie in it. Stapes dangerous liaison with a ditzy schoolgirl. Thank you, Beth. She's entitled to know what it says about her family. Ditzy? I mean, she was a gifted and talented for maths. Her teacher said she was the most promising student that he'd ever come across. I mean, obviously, she was getting private tuition for other subjects from your pervy partner. All right, you've made your point. But he groomed her. I'm not defending him. What he did was wrong, but... 
Rosie did sell a story to the press. She didn't have to do that. Nobody forced her to. What if she did? I mean, the trauma that Rosie went through, I'm amazed she got through it. She was kidnapped twice. You know, this book could trigger all kinds of stuff. He's disgusting. I hope he rots in hell. You should have stopped this. He tried to published. stop it, Sally, OK? And we failed. But the bit about Rosie is two pages. That whole book is about my family. My daughter, who's 11 years old, she's the real victim here. That is true. Oh, be quiet, Faye. You're not the only victim, you and your daughter. What about my daughter's name being dragged through the Stop mud? Stop banging on about Rosie. I thought you understood, Sal. This book is making me feel like I'm reliving the John thing all over again. Oh, where is me? I fell for a killer. Oh, now the truth's coming out, isn't it? Anyone else want to throw the two pen a thing? You know, there's one part of this book that I really do agree with, the stuff about Hope being a father's daughter. You got that spot on, and she's not ashamed of him either, is she? Oh, no, far from it. That little blubber mouth gave the author most of his material. We had no influence over what went into that horrible book. I'm sure that's true. Fizz is not in the wrong. I shall decide for myself, thank you, Faye. And what on earth is going on here? Nothing. I thought I'd made it perfectly clear what would happen if anyone was caught with this book. Sis, go home for a breather. Beth, my office. Now! It's been wonderful to meet you, and I think we've covered everything, have we? Unless you've got any more questions. No, I think I've got a pretty good idea of how this place runs. Oh, smashing. Well, I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't need any ladders. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure I'll be making an offer. Oh, you seem really keen earlier. Oh, you're not putting an offer in now? <sighs> It's the location, really. We'd like to be nearer the centre. Oh. Well, good luck with that. It's nice to meet you anyway. Ooh, what a time waster, eh? I told you that book was banned. I know. But when the biggest excitement of your day is how many pairs of knickers you can sew... It's just got all this juicy stuff in it about people you work with. Do you have no loyalty to Fizz whatsoever? She's been through hell over that. I just thought I'll take a little peek. And then before you know it, you're on chapter three. And once I'd finished it, I just felt that Sally had a right to know. No, Beth, what you felt is you'd stroll in here and light the blue touch paper. I did warn you. I said to all of you, I caught anybody reading that and there'd be suspension without pay. Oh, please don't suspend me. I won't be able to afford food for peanut. Oh, come on. I promise I won't disobey any more of your orders ever again. If only I thought you meant that. I do. This is your final warning, Beth. I mean it. Now get out and apologise to Fizz when she gets back. Not a chance. Yeah, so I was thinking here we could have, like, the welcome desk. Mm -hmm. And then over there, someone from Citizens Advice. Mm -hmm. And then this corner, I'd just have, like, supplies and maybe some soft seating for people who want to be a bit more comfy. Yeah. And then just have, like, the main area for classes and events and stuff. Right. Really? Sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Just need to get them to sign off on it all now. Well, they will. They have to. Mm. Well, let's go and speak to me near at three. Oh, oh, right. oh. So, when is this superstar arriving? Straight from the RSC, is she? Oh, darling. People like me do this for free. Yeah, and I am very grateful. But you think I need coaching? You are my leading lady, and I have every confidence in you. But sometimes it helps to get someone from outside the group to have a look. Outside the circle of trust? You shouldn't be threatened. Yeah, Nigel's been raving about this actress. She's hugely talented, but all she wants to do is to bring her vision to the team. Nice of you to say so. Martha. Flaming Sally. 
One minute she swears she won't give it a second thought, then she reads it and has a right go at me. Yeah, well, listen, none of this is your fault, and maybe she should try supporting you. She is supposed to be a friend. Mm. Hey, what do you reckon to that, then? I have been hard at it while you've been out. Next time, I reckon I could do a wardrobe. Really? Oh, it's great. Right, gasping for a cuppa. Oh, yeah, me too. Do you know what? I might have a chamomile, calm my nerves. Yeah. I'll have a normal tea with normal milk in my normal cup, then. <laughs> hey, have you seen this? Wasn't it? Where was that? In the tin in the cupboard. Well, what's that doing there? Don't know. Who's it belong to? Well, it's not me. Are you sure? You're not saving it for a surprise for me? <laughs> well, I'm too tired for that. Hmm. Must be Evelyn. Nope, she'd never leave cash lying about. Well, it's not the girls, is it? No, they won't be able to reach. Have, have you seen my hammer? What? My hammer's missing. You must have left it lying around somewhere. Oh, I didn't think so. You'll find it. Oh, looks good. It's nearly finished that, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for coming to this special reading of state, a legacy of evil. I'm just going to check the coast, Claire, then we'll get started. Glad we've not missed this. No, she's a right freak. If I had to get us off and having a murderer for a dad. Total nut job. I might record to you for a laugh. Could go viral that. One day, the many white coats are going to cart her away. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Don't. Fizz, I am I'm so sorry. I I should never have suggested that Hope was anything like a dad. Yeah, I should apologise and all. I've got a proper telling off reading that book. And I was winding Sal up a bit. Hope's only eleven, for goodness sake. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm really sorry, and I'm sorry about making it all about me. It must be a nightmare for your whole family. No, look, it's tough for everyone who was involved in John's life. All his victims. I just don't want it to come between us. No, me neither. Right, on that note, I'll make us another break. Oh, oh lovely. Yes, hi. What? Hang on a minute. Slow down. You're not making any sense. Go on, the school... You want to see us? What, right now? Okay, yeah, um, I'm on my way. I best. <laughs> she clearly knows it. Yes, but is it romantically or professionally? Well, I'm not aware of Ken's theatrical career. Oh, that's it then. It was romance. I have no idea. Why should you? I mean, to be completely clear, I am here for Nigel, <laughs> to help, if I can, get this show back on the road. But I feel that maybe we should talk. Martha is here to work, not to talk. You must be Mary. Uh, I, I must, yes. <laughs> Let's get to work. Let's start with voice projection. I think you'll find I have excellent voice projection. Mother was practically stone deaf. I've always had to project. Well, that's in a domestic situation. This is for the stage. It's totally different. I'm not so sure. Mother was a tough audience. Let's do some breathing. Give me a couple of deep breaths. You're breathing in your chest. What we need is for you to breathe down into your diaphragm. We can go deeper. Deeper? Deeper. Deeper. Just a few facts about your community centre. Yeah, they're trying to shut it down. Local services should be for local people. What are you doing? Yeah, we're not closing it down. 
How many classes and opportunities for local people are you going to cut in order to save your refugees? None. Everything's going to be the same. This is about expanding resources for local people. How can refugees be local? They've just arrived. There are families that have lived in this community for generations. Oh, come on, open your eyes, mate. These, these people are fleeing war, yeah? They need help. Yeah, and it's not going to be at the expense of current resources. This is scaremongering. And it's lies. There's going to be no courts. <laughs> Easy promises. Can you keep them? Yes, I can. And I will. You need to get your facts straight. I hear Roy Cropper tore a strip off you at the meeting the other day after I left. Didn't see that on the heavily edited video. What are you saying? Fake news? Try the mainstream media. That's where you'll find the really dangerous lies. No, what I'm saying is this is total rubbish. It's a free country. Hey, Max. Max! Hey. You all right? Yeah. You haven't replied to my messages. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we, we, we're worried about you. See this? I mean, nowhere near as good as the job you could do for us, but... Hey, is everything all right? Yeah, it's just, you know, David's like... Just trying to keep my head down. It's a shame. But you always do what your stepdad says. Because your stepdad's always right. I thought you had a brain in your head. Exciting, creative brain. I thought you were a dynamic, talented young man who could think for himself. Make up his own mind. Was I wrong? So, how long has it been going on then, this unofficial job share with Jacob? Well, I kind of fell behind a bit. My diabetes was playing up, but it's all under control now. Look, Summit, if you're struggling... No, I'm not. Will you just be straight with me, rather than getting your mates to do your work for you? Yeah, I will. I promise. And I can handle everything, no problem. OK, well, I appreciate it must be really hard managing diabetes, so consider yourself unwarned. Oh, uh, both of us? Yes, both of you. But if there's a problem, come talk to me, all right? Don't work too hard, you're going to make yourself poorly. You okay? Yeah. How about the boss? She's still mad. She's okay. She rescinded our warnings. Oh, that's big of her. <laughs> Do you um you need a hand with anything? Uh no. Thanks. I am taking back control. I want to prove to Carla that I can do my job on my own. Just just take it easy. Yeah? Mm hmm Thank you. Did Cross you say what this was about? No, just that it was serious and she needed to see us straight away. I just dread to think what she's done now. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it can't be anything bad, can it? Because no one got hurt, I asked, and no sign of a fire engine. Well, that's something. Thank you both for coming. Oh, it's no problem. At Hope's last school, we had our own parking spot in the playground. <laughs> It was just a joke. This is not the time for jokes. Frankly, I'm still in shock. Hope is being looked after by one of our teachers so that we can talk privately. Is it serious, then? This afternoon, Hope reenacted John Stapes' murder of Charlotte Hoyle in front of the other students with a hammer. Tasting box from new uh, wine merchant. Oh, we'd said they've got a fantastic South African Chenin Blanc we should try, which uh, Ben reckons we can get for eight, eight pound a bottle. And I just played a blinder with Debbie. Why don't I like the sound of that? I just managed to uh, put off her buyer. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, trust, respect, hey? You don't know the meaning. I've just come off the phone with Lynn. You did scupper my deal. Well, what do you expect when you try and sell half our business from underneath us? Well, at least I'm not doing it behind your backs. Uh, he's still a stab in the back, even if it's from the front. Mm, it doesn't make sense, Leon. I have been straight with you. But if you want to fight dirty, oh, yes, I can do that and all. Yeah, do your worst. Oh, don't say that. Why? This is our livelihood. Have you read your contract recently, eh? Because I have. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look here, yeah. Page two, clause seven. Oh, 
You need glasses for this, but uh, bear with me. If one partner can secure an offer above the market rate, they can force the other partner to sell. Yeah. So, if you can't find the cash to buy me out right now, I will find that buyer and sell the whole damn bistro. She managed to attract quite a crowd for her lunchtime true crime club. She's been reading chapters out from the book. But today, she topped it all by producing the hammer. She was waving it about. It was the screams of the other children that alerted Stanley. We've been trying to shield her from the book. We don't even know she got a copy. But she's been selling signed copies to the other children. The money in the cupboard. But the really serious issue here is that she brought a hammer into school. A murder weapon. Where did she get it? Well, that's not the actual murder weapon. That's just from my toolbox. Oh, so you knew she had the hammer? No, no. I, I, I spotted that it was missing, but I didn't know Hope had taken it or brought it to school. I'm so sorry. Look, I appreciate this is a difficult time for Hope and for you. But we have teachers here who knew John and Charlotte. Hope's performance today has brought back a lot of painful and traumatic memories. Mr. Graham worked alongside Charlotte for years. Mr. Graham, geographer. He's a nice fellow we services for. He was so shaken by today's events that he's decided to take early retirement. Stanley Graham is a damn fine teacher. We can't afford to lose educators of his caliber. I think it would be a good idea for Hope to take a week away from school to process these events. Are you suspending her? I have no choice. <sighs> I suppose it could have been worse. How exactly could it have been any worse? Well, like I said, nobody got hurt. Nobody ended up in hospital. Ty, she's been suspended. You know, I thought she was dealing with this whole book thing OK. Yeah, but how does a young girl really deal with the fact that her biological father's a serial killer? Yeah, but when you put it like that... Well, that's how it is. I can't believe she's had us thinking she's been traumatised. All this time she's been playing the star turn at school, raking in the cash. When's she next seen the therapist? <sighs> Soon as possible, that's when. We are way out of our depth. Yeah. Got him well trained. Mm. Might enter him and come dine with me. Uh, I can't hear you. I'm singing your praises. Wish I could cut like you. Yeah, well, you know, I could teach you. Yeah, but you don't keep a dog and bite yourself, do you? I wouldn't mind learning. Right, grab yourself a knife. I've got some onions I need chopping. Hey. 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 Thought you were staying behind to catch up on your work. You okay? Uh, yeah. Well, my blood sugar was low, so I need some orange juice. Yeah, I'll get it. Do you want something to eat as well? We're just cooking now. Mm. Maybe just some toast. I've got to think of the baby, haven't I? All right, will you sit down? I'll do it. You look tired. Is Carla working you too hard? No. No, I just kind of feel like I'm still on trial. She shouldn't be putting this much pressure on you. There you go. Well, she doesn't know that I'm pregnant. And she can't know. Right. Come on. Give me a laptop. Finish your work for you. What? No, it's fine. I can do it myself. Hey. I'll always be this tough. That was out. What do you want on your toast? Uh, peanut butter. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you. Thanks for leafleting today. No problem. No worry about Max. He's a good kid. Uh, he's a young, white, working-class male. Right now, that makes him bottom of the pile. And who's going to stick up for kids like him? Hmm? Who's going to fight for their rights? His dad doesn't see it like that. It was dad wrong. Can you not see what he's doing to his own son, keeping his head down? He's being crushed. Max needs a new family. Like us? Yeah, like us. You don't have to be born into a family. Sometimes your family finds you. 
That's right. We make connections. Like you and me. Absolutely. This isn't a game, you know. It's not all just about marches and meetings and leafleting. I know. And I won't let you down. I'm 100% behind you. One day I might ask you to prove that. I'm ready. What if I said... I want your last chip? I would say... Do you want salt and vinegar with that? <laughs> You're a good man. We're gonna do some amazing stuff. Have you got anything to say? You do realise that you've been suspended from school because of what you did today? Do you understand? Can I have my money? What? My money from the cupboard. They earned from selling copies of the book. But they weren't your books to sell. How? Oh, this isn't some clever money-making scheme. You've really frightened people. Yeah, people like Mr Graham, who's taking early retirement, is going to have to have counselling. You're in serious trouble. What's going to happen? Honestly, I don't know. But I'll tell you this, me and your mum, we are very disappointed in you. Are you going to leave again? What? No. You left before. No, I'm not going to leave. This is my family. This is our family. You left with Alina because of me. No, no, look, that's not true. It wasn't because of you. Look, there was a lot of things, right, but... But mostly it was because of me. I made a stupid mistake, right? And I can promise you, that is never going to happen again. They want to frighten people. And some people are easily scared. Yeah, well, we can't let them get away with it. No, I know. But it is a free country. I know that people are worried. I get that. But it's not the refugees that are causing the cost of living crisis, no, of is it? it's not. But they love to play the blame game, don't they? Yeah, I know, but people around here aren't going to be losing any services. You know, and it's at difficult times like this that we all need to be pulling together, not looking for scapegoats. I will admit to being apprehensive when Nigel suggested that you might be able to help me with my performance, but I was wrong. Your breathing techniques have made me feel so much more powerful and in control. Oh, well, it's very basic. If you don't breathe, you die. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have to run off on some other theatrical mercy mission. For you, I have time. I have to ask. There's a rumour that you were first choice to play the character of DCI Jane Tennyson. You were the original prime suspect? Not true. I was aware that there was a casting, but I was already committed to play Nina in the seagull at Chichester. Mm. One sliding door moment. I mean, Dame Helen could have been Dame Martha. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And you two know each other? We were just good friends a long time ago. And when you finish with them towels, don't forget, put them in the washing basket. What just happened? I'm not sure. I would hope, think I would leave again. Well, when trust's broken, it's not that easy to put it back together, is it? That's my fault, isn't it? It's all, it's all my fault. Come on, nothing's ever as simple as that. Well, it is, though, isn't it? I mean, what I... What me and Alina did, but... I caused so much damage with the kids, with, with you. I mean, how could I do that? If I can't understand it, how can I expect anyone else to? We are not going to solve any of this with you blaming yourself. Yeah, well, there's no one else to blame. Maybe you'd have been better off staying with Phil. OK, stop that now. Are you giving up on this family? No. Hope's worried you might leave again. You keep talking like this. I'm going to start to worry the same thing. I'm sorry, I just, I just feel rubbish, that's all. I know you do, but it's really not helping. You're right. Of course I am. <laughs> now, our biggest worry is how we are going to cope with Hope at home for the next week. <laughs> I'm going to speak with Kev. I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to spend it with her and show her that I'm going nowhere. Ty, you are a good dad. Well, she doesn't think that. I need to prove it.
Oh, uh, Jenny's just gone into the back to get some more change. So we were just friends? I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Me uncomfortable? Why would I be uncomfortable? You were the one that behaved abominably. I apologize for that, but I didn't think you wanted me to tell the whole world I'd broken your heart. You really take the biscuit when it comes to arrogance, don't you? You didn't break my heart. You disappointed me. You were a tiny, insignificant episode. A mere footnote, nothing more. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. I've had enough of this. You can tell your friends whatever fantasy you like. I am done with this whole charade. Where's Martha gone? I'm not sure. What did you say to her? I think I may have misjudged the situation. Well, what does that mean? We used to be an item many years ago. Oh, I knew it. The relationship ended badly, and I think I may have inadvertently upset her again. She is coming back. I fear not. We need her help. You've got to get her back. What can I do? Apologize. Peg, use your imagination. If we lose Martha, this show does not go on. You broke it. You fix it. Uh, it's here, yeah, page two, clause seven. Oh, why did we agree to that? Well, it works both ways. If one partner can secure an above-market deal, they can buy out the other partner or force them to sell. Yeah, but we don't want that. And there's no way we can raise the cash, so we stand to lose the whole thing. Well, maybe I could go back to the bank or another bank. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my fault, picking a fight. No, it's fine, it's fine. We both know what Debbie's like, don't we? Shen is actually not too bad. Those boys know what they're talking about. Pour us a glass, then. It's Karif. Hello? What? Are you serious? Can he do that? Right, OK. Well, we'll have to think about it, OK? Yeah, we'll get back to you. to see Sam tomorrow. Right, well, I'm coming with you this time. But what about the beast trip? Oh, we're just kidding ourselves, Nick. I'm not going to raise the money, so let's just forget about it and concentrate on looking after Sam. Hey, book on. Thanks. Just quickly, before it starts, uh, I've spoke to the therapist, managed to get an appointment for tomorrow. And I've spoke with Kev, got a bit of time off, so I thought me and you could hang out. Hang out? Yeah, oh. yeah, if you want. Can you turn the heating up? I'm a bit cold. But we've got to keep an eye on the energy bill. So I should just shiver in silence? <sighs> Freeze to death in my own bed? Oh, I'm sure. Right, I'll go upstairs and get you a blanket and then you'll be snug as a bug in a rug. Hope to Sam. Come in, Sam. Over. Hi, Sam here. How are you? Over. Pretty good, actually. In fact, I've got a week off school and my dad dropped around my little finger. Gonna make him pay for letting me down. Over and out. Gareth and his team will be hoping for another good performance tomorrow night when England take on the USA. All the action is live right here on ITV1 from 5 past 6. It's off to the jungle next tonight though, for I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs>